Hello everyone and welcome to a very special Good Friday edition of The Daisy Cousin Show. Tonight, we have the very, very great pleasure of speaking to one of Australia's most resilient and courageous politicians. She's a maverick, she's incredible, and above anything else, she's always been well ahead of her time. And she has faced up to the slings and arrows of Australia's political establishment better than anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the show One Nation leader, Senator Pauline Hanson. Senator Hanson, very, very big welcome to the Daisy Cousins show. How are you in this, this lovely, lovely evening? Very well, thank you. No, I can't complain. Um, I get asked that a lot and I say, I can't <laughs> complain for an old girl. So, <laughs> a lot of other people worse off than me, so I keep good health. I'm very well, thank you. It's a wonder wonderful attitude to have, certainly. I can't complain. I'm going to remember that next time I have a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of an off day. But I'm so, so thrilled that um, we could have this chat. I, I'm longing to pick your brain on so many things. I'm a big admirer of yours. I have been for such a long time. Thank you. So you very famously used to own a fish and chip shop. You were living the small business owner life. Mm. What inspired you to, to give up that and move into politics? Well, Daisy, I had it for 10 years, the shop, mm. and um, when I separated from my husband, um, I didn't want to go on to a pension. With uh, I still had three children at home mm. with me at that time. So anyway, I thought, no. So I borrowed everything. I bought the shop. Um, I worked around about 80 to 90 hours a week, plus, oh my uh, goodness. plus um, three children um, wow. as a single parent. I didn't have my parents. I had no family at all in Ipswich. Um, it was extremely hard. Um, to actually do it but um, and I had one girl work with me on a Friday night for two hours and one girl on Saturday night for two hours and by the time I sold the business 10 years later I had six on a on a Friday night wow. and um, people with me the rest of the you know day and time so I built up that rundown business and um, it was very re rewarding hard work mm. um, but very beneficial but the fact is that when I was in the shop um, I then heard of what happened in Ipswich City Council mm. and they threw the mayor out. I thought, they can't do that. The <laughs> councillors can't do that. I'm a personal principal, right? Yeah, so absolutely. Like, oh, that's right. No, you can't do that. So anyway, um, I then decided to stand as an independent and I won my seat. And, well, wasn't there a shake-up? <laughs> <laughs> so even on council, I heard they were filling up the water trucks on a weekend, going out and selling to the farmers. Um, I, got a, I got a meter made up so they couldn't pinch the water out of the mains mm. and go and sell, on sell it. I questioned about where the tyres were taken off the, the cars, the fleet, before time because they were on selling them. Um, I saw, saved a farmer five hundred dollar fine because his cow was out in the road. And Fantastic! I said, I said, just make you know. I said you can't go and charge the farmer for that. He doesn't want his cow out in the road. No, of course so not. So anyway, I got him out of that five hundred dollar fine. I got people sorted out with their footpaths and with their lighting. They were doing some roadworks, and the, and the fellow would come out and say, Pauline, do you think they can just do this a little bit for me? I said, no worries. So I'm going to talk to them. Mm. Because I got on with the counsellors and, um, you know, with the workers and everyone like that. And mm. yeah. I picked up a lot across the counter in my shop. And, yeah, I got quite a few things done. And uh, the managers used to call me in and say, can you come to this meeting? Why is something gone? Oh, can you just turn up? <laughs> so they knew that I would question. And I questioned the mayor and I questioned everyone else. And mm. I wanted accountability. 